reasonable? Is it not reasonable that 11-year-old girls were taken to a lesbian slash gay porn shop? Porno movies, uh, sex toys, everything. And the school said it's okay because it's alternative. See, if they were teaching heterosexual sex to third graders, it'd be called pedophilia, and it is. But when you bring this whole gay thing in, it's all right. So we'll grab that news report and play the next segment. This is the sexualization of our children, and this is cults of basically pedophiles. From Dennis Hastert on down, that are coming after our children. And when heterosexuals do it, they get locked up. When homosexuals do it, they get called goddesses and worshipped. And this is what the takeover is. Star Tribune is also reporting. And we're not joking. I mean, full-on sex shop, folks. 11-year-old girls. <laughs> now, imagine in America. And, and by the way, I can't even say some of the stuff we know that World Net Daily reported on years ago. Stations would complain when I would read articles about what 10, 11, and 12-year-old boys and girls in Rhode Island and other states or in, in one case were taken to a college dorm and put in beds and then taught stuff I didn't know about till I was in college. It's pedophilia. That's not my view. That's what it is to take. I mean, if you go up in a park and try to show a hustler magazine to an 11 year old girl, folks, you're going to go to jail for 10 years and you should. But you take them and you show them a bunch of women naked together and a bunch of men naked together, then it's trendy. It's the same thing. These people need to be indicted. And it's just par for the course. I see this all the time. The smitten kitten. By the way, any of these stores have got everything in them. So to claim, oh, it's, 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 it's progressive, it's okay. Again, that's the political correctness is an excuse for people to do whatever they want, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely, totally, and completely over the top. Over the top. You're an adult, do whatever you want, as long as you don't hurt somebody else. You keep your hands off, kids. Uh, brief. Just like Obamacare, the insurance companies just last year had almost a 50% increase in profit. Was it 48? Just off U.S. Obamacare. Global companies worldwide, 7.5 billion people, insurance companies all over the world, 48% increase in profits globally off screwing over American taxpayers. A global tax on the USA of chumps. And I love our country. I think our country's been exceptional. I love our republic. But I am ashamed of our nation. And I get up here and I talk about how I'm ashamed of it and, and run it down so we can change it. It's like telling your kid if they're being a slob, you're acting like a slob, clean up your room. But I mean, it's gotten to the point where the gay and lesbian agenda, not of the average person that's gay or lesbian out there, I want to make that clear, but of the people driving it, is to take people's kids and sexualize them and have their way with them. I mean... Girls 11 to 13 were taken on the field trip. I'm going to cover this more at the bottom of the next hour and get to Jakari's report as well. But it just shows how whacked out everything is. And it was a liberal, holistic school for K through 12 with emphasis on the democratic process, individualized instruction, academic freedom, self motivation. Cooperative learning, youth empowerment, and environmental stewardship, hardcore liberal. So you took them to a smut shop. God almighty. 
That just shows the unbelievable. I mean, I have an 11 year old daughter. And I'm not a violent person, but if, if, if someone took my 11 year old daughter to a porn shop, I don't care who it is, what color they were, if it was a school, an individual, anybody, I would call the police. But if I saw you, I would beat the living snot out of you. I mean, it, I couldn't help it. I would guaranteed start punching you in the eyes and the nose and stomping you. I mean, that's a normal response, too. I can't handle it anymore. I can't handle all you scum that think my kids belong to you. They don't. You got it? Get it through your head. Leave us alone. We're tired of it. Quit pushing us. Melissa Harris Perry on MSNBC saying our kids belong to you. No, they don't, you stinking witch. You criminal cartel member. Shut up, you stinking pile of crap. Excuse me. Man, this pisses me off. I hadn't seen that article enough. They came in and gave it to me, and I went and read like three articles before I believed it. They're, they're in the Minneapolis Star Tribune discussing whether it's good or not. I mean, that's the thing. They're in the news like, well, it is progressive. Yeah, men having orgies together. It's okay. Women all together. It's okay because it's not heterosexual. What the fuck? I don't care what it is, you stinking pervs. Oh, I mean, it's just over the top. Third hour coming up. Stay with us. It's okay because it's about being progressive. Because the store is a, quote, progressive sex toy store for everyone. So my point is, is it's being spun that it's okay because it's for everyone. And you watch. That's how it'll be defended. Because I've seen this over and over again. They go, we're going to have... You know, the sex education on, you know, Billy having two daddies or whoever having two mommies, when you shouldn't be teaching sex anything to, to young children. They're not even thinking about that. It, it's not the place of schools that are riddled with predators. And I've explained this over and over again. There's a predatory hierarchy that's taken over the Catholic Church, that's taken over Congress, that's take, that made major inroads, maybe not taken over, a lot of major institutions. I think you could argue taking over the Catholic Church. To a great extent. And I remember them 15 years ago when that was all breaking, going, it's a conspiracy theory about the Catholic Church. None of that's going on. There's no cover-ups. No, there are cover-ups. And it's kind of this thing where you commit crimes so big, even people who aren't involved in it cover it up to protect the institution. It's too big to fail. That's what Jakari Jackson's report's about coming up. With these uh, big charities that everybody knows are stealing and not giving money where they're supposed to, but it's just they're just institutions. So the mainstream media, every time there's a disaster, says United Way and Red Cross, that's where you're supposed to give your money. So it's the same story over and over again. I'm not saying the school itself are a bunch of pedophiles. I'm saying it's part of this culture that is mainlining sex to kids and spinning it as if it's progressive to teach them about it. It's not the school's place. You're not their parents. Parents call on school's chief to resign for a smitten kitten field trip. Let's, let's go ahead and play a clip from the news. Here it is. Lynn Floyd says he enrolled his children into Gaia Democratic School because of its emphasis on academic freedom and student-led instruction. Wanted to, our children to grow up in the, in, and remain children as long as possible. But says he never imagined that would include a first-hand look at sex toys and risque material. I don't see how it can continue how she should be allowed to lead children in this manner. Last week, Floyd says the school's sex education teacher, Starry Hedges, took about a dozen middle school and high school students on a field trip to an adult sex store called the Smitten Kitten in Uptown. After his 13 and 11-year-old daughters Sick. came home, they shared what they saw. Floyd immediately pulled them out of Gaia, including his three-year-old daughter, and says the school did not give him any notice about the field trip. All you had to do was ask us. This whole situation would have went a completely different way. Ms. Hedges is also the private school's director, and when we tried to get her side of the story, her staff kicked us off the school grounds. Do you have any thoughts on this visit to the Smitten Kitten? Just like your skin. No, not at all. Lens crafters? In a letter posted to Gaia's website, the school board says it stands behind the field trip and views it as a legitimate learning experience that relates directly to topics covered during a year-long sexual health class. They also said participants communicated to us that the trip was a positive education.
education experience, no student was required to attend. The owner of the Smitten Kitten said in a statement, the store is a resource for sound science-based sex ed information and leaves it up to parents and guardians to use their discretion when seeking resources. Uh, they're certainly not going back to that school. Floyd says his daughters are still traumatized and is waiting for an apology. I, I, I want justice. See, he's just an extremist. I mean, it's no big deal to take little girls to a porn shop for a school field trip. I mean, come on. That'll take them to a field trip where they're doing surgery, chopping arms and legs off for transabled folks. I mean, it is a Democrat school. It is trendy. It is liberal. Sound science. I mean, that's what this is all about. All right, I'm done talking about that. We got another guest coming on. To get us some really key information, stay with us. Professor Francis Anthony Boyle is a leading American expert in international law. He's responsible for drafting the Biological Weapons Anti-Terrorism Act of 89, the American Implementing Legislation for the 72 Biological Weapons Convention. He served on the board of directors of Amnesty International and represented at Bosnia and Herzegovina at the World Court. He serves as a legal advisor to Palestinian delegation of the Middle East Peace Negotiations from 91 to 93. 2007, he delivered the Bertrand Russell Peace Lectures. Professor Boyle teaches international law, University of Illinois, um, Champaign, and is author of a whole bunch of books um, dealing with genocide, dealing with international law, you name it. He holds a doctor of law, magna cum laude, as well as PhD in political science, both from Harvard University. His recent book is Destroying Libya and the World Order. The three decades U.S. campaign to terminate the Gaddafi revolution. I want to briefly talk about that because at the time he said it was to destabilize and basically destroy Libya and the rest of Africa for that matter. Um, and then now they call it a great failure that it is a failed state and a big Al-Qaeda ISIS hangout. But the reason I got him on today is he's traveled extensively in the Middle East is also to get into ISIS and the West being behind it and the defense intelligence document that went to Judicial Watch two weeks ago showing the West is running it. I mean, this is just huge information. Saudi Arabia being protected on 9-11, the 28 pages. That's in the London Telegraph today. This stuff's really starting to come out now. And, and just the whole political atmosphere. But first, uh, he is an expert on anthrax and has contact with the experts. And I just wanted to know what he thought about this, this news that hadn't gotten a lot of attention, but it, it's been in the news. Pentagon, number of anthrax shipments accidentally shipped doubles. And now we learn it's all over the U.S., all over the world. Anthrax mistake grows as 51 labs may have received live spores from U.S. military. You know, they tried to blame three or four different patsies for the anthrax attacks in 2001. They said it wasn't weaponized, and of course it was. I mean, what's really going on here? Uh, Professor Francis Boyle, thank you for coming on, sir. Thank you, Alex, for having me on my best for your listening audience. Yes, it, the anthrax, this is a extremely uh, dangerous situation. Uh, all I can comment on is what I've seen so far uh, in the public record. First, Dugway admitted that they were engaging in uh, open-air testing of live anthrax there uh, at the uh, Dugway uh, proving ground. They said it was for defensive purposes, uh, but that's nonsense. Uh, if indeed uh, they just wanted to test uh, uh, costumes or things, they have chambers to do that. The only reason they would be uh, testing live anthrax in, in the open there uh, is uh, part of uh, waging anthrax war. Indeed, there is a uh, federal statute directly on point uh, prohibiting the open air testing of both uh, biological and chemical weapons uh, going back to the earlier uh, uh, offensive warfare preparations at uh, Dugway that killed all those sheep. Although there is a uh, presidential waiver in there, but I don't know if uh, uh, there is a, has been a presidential waiver either by uh, President Bush Jr. or uh, uh, President uh, Obama. Second, uh, if, if you look at uh, what happened in South Korea, that is extremely uh, uh, dangerous. It's already been reported that the anthrax there uh, was aerosolized, which means uh, it was weaponized. 
The only reason you aerosolize uh, anthrax is to weaponize it. 